that World War III has been going on for a long time. We are used to imagining world wars as something that resembles the events that took place between 1914 and 1918, or the events between 1939 and 1904 to 5. These were ferocious wars, but without the use of weapons of mass destruction on a wide scale. Chemical weapons were used a little bit in World War I, but nuclear weapons did not exist then. Today, the situation is entirely different. Once again, I would like to remind you that Russia was actually under siege at the beginning of this year, with installations that can be considered weapons of mass destruction. I'm not talking about Nesles, I'm talking about American biological laboratories. There are about 200 such laboratories all over the world. A large part of them are in the former Soviet republics, like Moldova, Ukraine, all the republics in Transcaucasia, as well as in some of the republics of Central Asia, like Kazakhstan. This is very dangerous because these weapons can be used without declaring war, and then the traces can be covered so that no one understands how large number of people were killed. Russia understood full well the extent of the danger that Ukraine poses as a country, with no less than 15 American biological laboratories of the military operation that began a few days ago is to take control of these laboratories. These were fake stories in the media, according to which the Russia armed forces launched missiles against these laboratories. No. These laboratories must not be bombed, under any circumstances. I know that professionals that we could call sappers come after the soldiers, and they take care of the situation professionally. Sources are Memory TV, a nonpartisan, independent research institute providing research, analysis, and translation of primary materials covering a wide range of issues, including on terrorism and ideological trends in the Middle East. These video clips are provided as a public service to an international viewing audience to bridge the language gap and better educate and inform. Materials about the statements of terrorists and extremists is provided to alert the public to threats and in no way constitutes an endorsement of such activity.